Hello and welcome to our uh, next interview of uh, Captain Sid's Late Night Interviews One on One with uh, Meet the Coholics. Tonight I have Gilly or Gil Ford. So how are you doing, Gilly? Oh, I'm doing pretty fine. Doing pretty fine, Sid. How are you? Ah, I'm alive. That's good. It's good. Aren't we all alive? Or are we dead and we're just simply the dreams? Bom. Indeed. <clears throat> So, Gilly, who are you and where are you from? Uh, all right. Uh, I guess Gilford originally. Just total some random name I came up with to troll some girl when I first joined the site. She was playing like the the princess and, I don't know, Gilford sounded cool. <laughs> then evolved into Gilly when I got too lazy to type in my name and Chitango. I see how that goes, yeah. And so, yeah. Uh, uh, so where you are you? Yeah, uh, where where are you from? Where am I from? Yeah, uh, originally the East Coast, bro. I don't want to get too much detail where. It's all good. We're not worried about trying to find you down. All right. Originally man. from Pennsylvania, I guess. You heard it, folks. He's in Pennsylvania. That means he's on the Hershey Highway. Nah, bro. <laughs> not a two one zero now, man. Beverly Hills. What? All right. Anyway. So, when did you join Co-Alts? God, I don't even remember. So long ago, the haze and the fog and all the bong water? Long time ago. Not not, not ancient, like TFE's ancients, but second, third generation. All right. What kind of got you to the site? Oh, uh, honestly, I, I got hooked into... I guess Naruto was the big thing back in the day. It just came out. And people were going from like X Men and sci fi role plays to Naruto, like the big anime craze hit. Everyone was a Weebo. <laughs> and I kind of went along with it. You know, I got caught up in the craze. Yeah. Low self esteem. I can't picture you as ever having low self esteem, Gilly. I know, right? You were an armor. Yeah. Pen armor, bro. That barely. Oh, yeah. That yeah, I joined the, some Naruto roleplay site, and they kicked me out because I was a dick and trolled everybody. Ah. So I typed in Naruto roleplay, and holy shit, what the hell is Go Hollers? Nice. Sounds like a easy easy find, I suppose. Did you get I, Did you get a lot of messages about how bad we were? No. Nope. I just, just joined up. No. Uh -huh. How was the community when you joined? Community was uh, it was pretty good. Like I, I was the noob. I was the weak wing. Did anyone, uh, did anyone take you under the wing? Nah. Yeah, the old members. Uh, a lot of people may not know him. Uh, Jeff, Jeff, uh, and uh, Tam and BB. They're old members, and people like them. They were gone now, but they took me under their wing and. That molded me into a dick. <laughs> I'm a decent role player I am today. Okay. Did you get to know TFE right away? Right away? I guess he was the man everybody was afraid of back in the day. Yeah. The site. He wanted to. He wanted to. He wanted to work up into his good graces, and I kind of, I kind of avoided him. I'm not gonna lie, I avoided him for I think the first year or so. Wow. Yeah. And then hard. he wanted to, uh, you know, he started looking for people to help out and sign up. And you start talking and realize, oh, my God, you have so much in common. Why are you guys, like, together as a couple? <laughs> and you realize it's the whole distance thing and when it works, both hairy and people don't accept that. Yeah. But yeah. We're, we're pals now, I guess. Yeah. So what got you working besides, uh, was it just him getting you to work inside the site? Or was it one of those, I kind of want to do this to, what, better the site or to work in his good graces? Better the site because we had an influx of retards at that point. Yeah. I really wanted to get people to, like, stop doing that fucking Gaia posting one-liners or fucking MSN chats. Yeah. So it kind of helped out in that front. Recruit people that I'm interested in stuff. Yeah. But, you know, 
They just keep coming. Did you did you take anyone under your wing personally? Personally, under my wing? Yeah. Uh, there was a couple people. I mean, I don't want to mention names because they never really left on bad terms. And I don't want to be remembered as the person who trained them to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, I, I give everybody the medicine they need to realize this is what it takes to be a call, Alex. Yeah. You, you know, a funny story when I first got on, you were the guy that I was like, man, this guy seems shady. Oh, yeah. I, I really didn't have much interaction with you except for the time when we was uh, enlisted together at that one point. And other than that, you yeah. really didn't talk. You just told me where to go and kind of the gist of what to do. And I was like, all right. Yeah, yep. I was appreciated, but you know, living with people on co with like Nishi and Kappa back in the day, you get pretty shady. Yeah, I could see that. So when did you meet Barry? Barry? I think uh, like the week after he, I, I don't know, I remember, it was me and him were like head in head on who joined first, I don't remember, but we hit it off in the beginning. He was part of that whole... British cloud of members yeah. that I hung out with. Yeah. Do you have so any I British just, heritage I, yourself? Say what? Do you have any British heritage yourself, or are you? No. No, no, no. Okay. Eastern Palestinian Jew and Polish. Wow. That's a mix. Oh, indeed. So you hate the Germans and the Catholic Church. The yeah. comment? <laughs> anyway. Moving on from that weird spot. Uh, what did you see when you were in Kohans helping it build it up? Did you see it get better? Did you have fears that it was going to crash and burn? What? Honestly, uh, fads come and go. But in, in the case of creating a you know great role-playing community, I've always thought we've had a strong, strong base and we build upon it and it's fallen a little bit but we've learned from mistakes and we build it back up and it's a it's a strong strong site now I believe. Yeah. We uh bring new people in, old people go, but we still hold strong. Do you ever try to it's outreach fine. to the old members? Outreach to the old members? I I have them all on my Chatango and Messengers and if they pop on I'll be like, hey, but they, I guess they moved on for less. It is a sad time, but I imagine we all will at some point move to a either a non-existent role play thing or just stop role playing altogether. And just role play in the bedroom. Yeah, yeah, that's one where you do not want to see TFE hiding in the corner modding your your uh, progress. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. You got to do it harder with the pinky. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, but back on subject, how do you feel Killa Hawks is doing right now in the present? Right now in the present? Uh, I think, I mean, I know we're having issues with the whole donations and things. Mm -hmm. but I think a lot of people are really stepping up in that aspect. I'm, I'm glad know, to a lot hear of that. People, a lot of people love it and they're giving their hard on cash to keep it going. And I think we're... Despite being all of us having our different quirks and whatnot, we're kind of tight knit. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I give people shit and I troll the shit around, but that's because I love them. And that's how, that's how I build relationships with people. And people who can take my shit and stay on the site, keep on coming, they earn my respect. And I think a lot of people who've uh, earned it recently, a strong member base. Yeah. I like to think I count you among my colo friends, as it were. Oh, definitely colo friends. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's a different breed than friends. It's like, they're the people I mention to other people that are in the same area. Not someone <laughs> I go, hey, I got this new friend. His name's Guilford. I think he may be a little gay, but he hangs out with the Brits. So it's kind of like a wishy-washy thing. <laughs> No, it's just like, I know this dickhead named Gil. He's pretty cool. Uh, don't piss him off. But if you do, tell him I sent you. No, I, I completely understand. I'll be the exact same way. I'll be like, 
talking to real like people, family members, friends, and be like, so the other day, FL was telling me this story about Pol Pot, and they'll be like, who's FL? And I'll be like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Fire Lizard, you don't know him. <laughs> he, wh- why is his name Fire Lizard? It's His parents were on pot and cocaine. It just It just happened. Something, yeah. Yeah. But it, I think it is almost like we're stepping, Cola Hawks has become another step of our lives in a sense. It's like another, no, like we open the door and get on our computer and we more or less come home in a sense. I, I completely agree. Like it's become an integral part of my life. And I actually, I actually wrote a song about it and I posted it on the site and that pretty much sums up my daily routine. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's become like a second thing. It's, it's habit. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm glad to hear that. So, um, bringing it back more toward the center of the uh, interview, um, what's your thoughts on what Cola Hawks will be in the future? I mean, where do you see us going? Maybe going to the heavens, to more to the hells, or more or less plotting the same path we are now? Honestly, um, like we, like I said, we've had a really good batch of. New being recruit this year. Mm-hmm. They've blown out of the water for me. And I think uh, things are going to change. Um, I'd like to see a lot more innovation in the traditional role plays. Yeah. I'd like to see another half. It's been here fucking six years and we don't have a dice roller. <laughs> like a fucking dice roller. That'll change so many things. Nobody believes me, but I'm done telling you. It's going to change everything. Hint, hint, Nevo. Hint, hint. The fire nation's going to attack or something. I don't know. <laughs> I rolled a nat 20. What happens? You made Armageddon happen. I hope you're happy, dick. <laughs> no, I think we're going inter- to... We have such a strong base. Mm. And the only, way, the only place to go is up. No. We're not going to So you think we're... Do you think we'll become like a corporation type site? You think? Oh, God. If we're, so, I want to buy stock now. But I mean, like... Uh, and not like completely suit and tie, but it's like we get like say fifty thousand members, and we have really active people. Maybe a fifty cent penance of a fee just to upkeep the server. I mean, if that was everyone, we'd pay pretty good and keep everything running. Maybe even hire <laughs> professional people to actually tailor the site around, helping Nebo out, or yeah, some, yeah. or someone who wants to volunteer and narr- not narrate this, but animate this while I speak and you speak. That would be pretty tits. <clears throat> Do it. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, if you've got an idea, post it. Talk to people about it. I mean, you can only make the site better. If you yeah. don't like it, I mean, trust me, our staff are the kind of people that are like, that's a fucking stupid idea. They'll tell you. I like I like how there's a lot of no-nonsense with our staff when it involves the site. Yeah. I know how we cut shit in the C-Box where it's like, yeah, totally, we should totally do that. Dildos in the ass Thursdays sound great, but if it's about the site, there's a lot of eased into it. It's like, maybe not that now, but maybe later. Start off with this, possibly. Mm-hmm. Definitely. I, I, do, I do think we have a pretty top-notch staff for a bunch of people coming together on a site. And I'm, I'm glad to have worked with them for a short time that I did before becoming Saturn and myself. But uh, back to you. Uh, I hate to say it, Gilly, but we're at the end of our uh, interview here. We're coming to uh, the close, ladies and gentlemen. Gilly, did you happen to eat any of the brownies that were in the green room earlier? I did partake in a couple. I, I thought they were complimentary. At least I hope they were. Oh, they were. TFE left them out when him and Neva went to the market. I don't eat them because last time I found a shroom in one. Oh, well... You may be in for a bit of a trip later on. (laughs) We'll call it cab. But anyway, remember, Coloholics, invest in Colo, and we'll make a mobile company. That's right, (laughs) Coloholics Mobile. So you can keep up to date with all your RPs and PMs, and maybe call people on the weekends. Maybe. Don't push it. All right. Yeah, I get first dip in stock options. (laughs) Indeed. Well, this is your captain signing out. Good night.